Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to make use of GLs and GL lines. Uh, so this is a GL line, it's like gizmos but it works in the game view and you can make it a normal line <coughs> and delete it, you can change a width and this is it basically. So <coughs> How to use GL lines? So this is the documentation, and first of all, you need to have on post renderer in your screen and a material, and you must do those lines. So everything you draw uh, needs to be inside on post renderer uh, between the push matrix and the pop matrix. Okay. Um, uh, so now let's start with drawing lines. So the way uh, the coordinates work inside your GL is really simple. So the zero zero is the corner of your screen here, and the uh, point 0.5.5 point five is always your center of your screen so as you will see this is the center of your screen and this is 1 and 1 and this is uh, 1 0 and 0 1 so to actually draw a line between your two cubes or two objects in your world you need to cast the position into a screen position and divided by screen width and screen height so I actually made it I actually uh, got the screen position of my cubes so let's draw our cubes so I have another method called GL vector and I will show you this in a second but the gel vector is just dividing the start y and start x by our screen uh, height and width so as you can see it got screen position and it divided by screen width and screen height so now we would have a red line between our two cubes <clears throat> and this is our red line and let's just comment this so how do we make an, a wide line so the way we make wide line is basically we need to we want to create a line like this and then we would want to get the position from here to here this position and this position and the same thing from the bottom and just draw a line between all of them like draw a quad between all of them so the way we calculate this position and this position is by getting the vector from here so this is the perpendicular vector and you get it by just using um, an equation that is the y position of the first of the end vector minus the y position of the start vector and rev and the x one x minus the other x but in reverse order so let's just make it so let's call it vector 2 offset and offset would be new vector 2 and let's make it so the x so this and y minus start y and start x minus 
and this. <clears throat> now we got the offset. Now we want to normalize it, and we would also multiply it by our width and by 0.5. So now let's draw a quad. So first of all, we change the GL begin to GL quad form lines, and here we make minus offset plus offset plus offset and minus offset the reason why it's minus plus plus and minus is because uh, we draw from here to here to here to here and if we if we would make it the other way we would get something like this uh, so now we would get our actual white line so as you can see we got a white line we can change it uh, width and it's all cool so how to make a dashed line so dashed line is we get this line and we would get the direction uh, I mean yeah, we get the direction and just draw a smaller lines like this so to draw a smaller lines you just need to know the direction and the um, magnitude of each line smaller line and also you would want to know the length of the space here so you can just skip to the next uh, starting position so to make it let's first of all uh, switch to our for loop and use draw line so draw line is the same as draw quad and then we just use to start and start <coughs> so what we need is how many dashes we can fit inside our screen so inside our line so we need the direction so direction is end minus start then how many we can fit is in dashes equal to hint and direction multiplied by the dash plus space <coughs> divided so mm, direction to magnitude okay so here we use dashes so the next step we need is to know is to actually make direction a normalized value and then we would want to know the distance from here to here this vector so this vector is let's call it offset vector to offset and offset will be direction direction multiplied by our dash length and our space length multiplied by the actual i <coughs> now we would add offset to both sides and now as it is now we just draw a single point and we need to actually make our line longer so direction multiplied by the dash and this is it this is a dashed line it's really simple and really nice to use if you ever wondered how to use the gizmos you can use it like this uh, I didn't actually check the other stuff, but you probably have GL the circle. Uh, wireframe, whatever. So, so this is it. And 
how to actually use it so I made a script that has on post render I drop it on my camera <coughs> and it actually saves all the lines it must draw in this particular frame inside my list called draw lines so draw lines is just have some color, width, start, end, dash length and dash space and it all works the same as I just showed you and the next step is just how to add lines so all those methods add lines you can add line by color and start end and width, without width, dashed line, not dashed line or just pass it line GL so this is one way to get line GL and so yeah so this is uh, the usage I gave it so this is the way to draw a normal line <coughs> in my case it expects you to pass it a screen position instead of world position so thank you for watching and see you next time